Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to content. We're going to today see if the number one player in the entire world, Quinn, CCNC from Gaming Gladiators, can beat five heralds. It didn't work last time. We did Immortal versus five heralds. The heralds won. But today, we're testing with the literal best player on the planet. So if he can't do it, nobody can. Let's see. Hello? Hello? Why are you out of breath? I'm not. Oh, okay. Hello, Quinn Culligan. Uh, great to have you here. Thank you so much for dropping a line. Uh, what is your... Snorting uh, a line. Yeah, for snorting a line, we're going to have to cut that part. Uh, do you have a strategy prepared for the uh, five heralds today? I do have a strategy. Should I disclose my strategy? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to pick Bristleback. Smoking up two wards. He placed one right here. And then this ward, he's going to place here instead of here. And somehow he actually knew Devin would be up here. So instead of buying zero items this time, Devin has Gloves of Haste, Quelling Blade, Iron Branch. Which might honestly be worse than no items. He will be 1v1ing a puck here, and he sees that because of the ward that he has. So he's able to actually zone out the puck. So he gets 40 gold, and they get 40 times 3 times 5. That is a 3k gold lead. What are the Heralds going to do? It looks like they're actually going to try lane him. So the strat that I thought of last night and talked with Slick about is we have one player on the off lane, one player uh, do safe lane, and then we just put three people mid. That sounds fun. Sounds and cool then... it then <laughs> Can he get the last hit? Yes, he can. So oh, he almost got this one. Almost perfect CSing from Quinn. So Quinn doing very well so far. Yeah, and li like I said, he doesn't really care that much about this tri lane. Like, they're halfway to level 2. He's almost level 3. Okay, Milky's actually going to go to stack the triangle. So they're going to try to play the efficiency game. One thing Quinn has to concern himself with. I know in the past when we have theory crafted this, they're going to actually try to go on Quinn. He's standing there on the high ground. He's letting it happen. He's going to kill... The puck, and he's gonna keep diving. Yep. <laughs> oh yep. Oh, I feel this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting rolled. What is happening? <laughs> okay. All right. That is 1,700 gold he's got to work with. He'll buy the wind lace, the boots, and he's gonna smoke himself back mid. So they're gonna continue to try lane mid despite. That disaster going on. Stun coming out on the Venge. And a Snapfire cooking her into the tower. Oh man, Quinn maybe could have dove. Oh, he's... Puck is going to have to orb away. Okay, he is really enjoying this XP lead that he has. He's playing... He's playing the distance. He's, he's staying a little bit far away, so he's not like over committing, but he's able to get the quill sprays. 1v3, getting tri lane mid and zoning the heralds away. I think I honestly think if Quinn dies once, the stun comes out on the creep from the Venge. If Quinn dies once, this could be disastrous for him. So he is riding a fine line here. And this is a catapult wave. So he can maybe get the mid tower here. He's baiting with the wand charges. Dodges! The Puck Orb, who she's going to have to use the Orb to get away. He's going to dive the Tier 2, and he successfully does so. Primal Beast cancels the Q, but it doesn't matter because Quinn does end up going down. Five man mid. There is a Rune Top, which he does see. He's got to be a little careful here because things could snowball. He's actually zoning four heroes. He's going to have to run towards the top lane. This is a 5v1 mid. Let's see how he uses the bottle with the illusion rune. It's a dispel, so he can use it to dodge something, maybe. Oh, man. This is tight. It, he can, it, This could be the game here. If he can get a lot of kills, he could snowball. If he gets killed, they could snowball. Placing a lot of sentries mid, too. He doesn't want to play with the vision disadvantage. Okay, they're going to use stuns on him. Let's see how much the lifesteal does. Does this turn you towards the primal beast? He's going to use the Illusion Rune. I... Oh, it's so close, dude. These two heroes have to stay far away. He's got Bottle Charge to work with. Now he's got Wand Charges as well. He's doing a very good job kiting. And he's just turning away from them. He actually has level 2 in the goo. 
And he's gonna get the Venge as well. Okay, will Devin go down to this? Devin doesn't have mana for invis. He's gonna dive. So they're gonna opt to use the Snapfire Q to get Devin away, and Quinn is gonna kill him anyway. And yet, the, there's still a 5k gold lead for the Heralds. He has a full Bloodstone completed at 7 minutes, 44 seconds into the game. Okay, now I'm getting concerned for the Heralds. But like I said, there are still problems that Quinn has to deal with. Uh, Slick is not one of them. Neither is Devin because he has the Bloodstone. I don't think they realize how powerful he is right now. They're actually doing a good amount of damage to him because these are the two very farmed heroes on the Herald side. On account of being in the side lanes completely free farm with nobody there. Quinn is going to have an arcane rune now. Okay, so Devin running in. Gets dusted. Quinn actually bought a dust. Should buy dust, guys. This is how you get rank one. Buy detection. Pops the bloodstone. And he kills Devin. Now he looks like he wants to go for the stack. So he's still losing. Still loses the mid tower to Slick because he is one guy. Another stun from the Venge onto the creep. This guy's got to use that new setting that lets you not target creeps. That's a triple kill for Quinn. So. He went to farm a stack of creeps, and he actually gets a stack of heroes instead. Going back, I know people are saying it's Jover. I don't know. There's there's a problem that Quinn has to deal with, and that's the fact that there are five heroes on the enemy team, and they could just hit towers in other lanes. And I've seen this before in this sort of content, and that is Boots of Travel. He will be sacking 2,000 gold, which could be spent for stats for the map control, which he is now going to be using on the Snapfire top. Milky has no spells, no mana. She's going to turn and get one right click onto Quinn. And he gets the kill on her. It is now 13 to 1. It is Dota. You have to... Okay, this Venge. Oh no, Stinky. Stinky just wanted some levels, but the boots of travel on Quinn. Slick is there. Does not have mana for the trample, so this is purely... Uh, an ult from the Primal Beast. Snapfire's TP in. Quinn is godlike now versus five heralds. The TP cancellation comes out from the Snapfire. Doesn't want to TP into that. It would be death. Slick getting ran down. Tries to go for a couple of right clicks before she dies. And that's going to be it. It's a, Every movement is a five-man rotation. So if he fails on any of these, it's a disaster. He goes top. He needs to kill the puck or at least get a lot done up here. And that's going to be a haste on the Snapfire, so a very difficult kill. And he will kill the puck, I imagine. Yeah, there it is. Okay, there's the Snapfire ulti coming out, but you can't use that in low range, so Milky's going to cancel that. The haste now runs out. This is a very fast Bristleback. He's going to take down Milky on the Snapfire, and I think he's going to dive the Venge. This is a level 5 Venge with only Tranquil Boots, and almost hasted on the Bristleback. He went for the cast range talent on the goose, so he can he can get her from super long range. The Clinks, who will be split pushing and killing his courier. Very annoying stuff from Devin. So Devin TPs to the wave to... Or Quinn TPs to the wave, rather, to punish this with the dust. Devin is very slow. Has the Orchid. This is maybe their best chance at killing him with the Orchid reveal. Gets the Bloodstone off, though, and the Primal Beast salt as well. So let's see how much Quinn can heal here. No Snapfire ulti for 17 seconds. Slick is getting absolutely kited to hell. Quinn is keeping his distance. Dodges the orb. Sees a shield rune. This is a very valuable rune in this sort of scenario. So now he's kind of immortal. Slick is going to use the Q to run away. Puck is going to use her Q to run away as well. Let's see how much Quinn wants to dive here. And he kills the Puck. He's going to continue diving. Going for Milky Bear on the Snapfire. Diving into the tier 3s. Devin is there. He's respawned. He's got the Orchid. So that's the shield rune down for, for Quinn. And there's the ult from Snapfire. Not from Snapfire. Primal Beast. Quinn really knows his limits with this hero, apparently. Is he going to dive the Fountain to go for the Vengeful Spear? No, he's not. He'll TP out because it's only the Venge who would have a stun. But she's walking back to base. Triple kill for Quinn. I can't believe he's doing this. This... I mean, even he thought that he couldn't do it. When, when we were speaking prior to this. He was like, this is going to be really hard. Quinn went for the Windlace and Gossamer Cape, by the way. So going for that move speed so he can run around the map and chase his victims. Really does feel like a serial killer running around, having his way with 
his victims. Really horrible. Very BSJ type stuff here, except BSJ would be losing, so. That's a two shot onto Devin. Oh my god. And Puck as well. Can't even orb away. That's a triple kill for Quinn. Halfway across the map, Jason Voorhees running around, slashing people. And this is going to be, what, the fifth time that Quinn sees some poor Harold farming on this ward. So he's doing a very good job at zoning. And he's going to dive. Slick is going to have to turn around and press Pulverize. Devin's TPing into the outpost. You can see that on the mini-map. He's going to dive here. Is this the point where he fountain dives? Because remember, Bristleback can enter into the fountain. The Pavise is going to do nothing. He is going to fountain dive. There's nobody in the fountain. Once again, Quinn... Quinn likes to win. So... Forts the wave. TPs onto Devin. Puts the dust into the backpack. Or from the backpack into the inventory. Not enough time to cool down here. He's not going to risk losing to BM. He is doing such a good job keeping the pressure up. He's got that hairball to work with now. Milky presses Mortimer Kiss over on the left there for one spit and then dies. Okay, so I do believe the Herald gameplay here will be split push, play the map, try not to die as much as you can until the Silver Edge comes out, and then maybe they can kill Quinn. Just maybe. Okay, does he press the dust at the right time? Yes, he does. He clips Devin right at the edge of the dust. And Devin cannot get away. They ping that he has vision. He does not have vision. Quinn just had the read that that's how far Devin would be able to run away after this wave dies. There will be no wave. Backdoor protection will be on if they can kill this wave. Quinn's going to go for the dive here and succeeds. Kills the courier as well. Sees that Slick is there in base. Radiance bottom tower. He's got a wave to work with here. He's cutting the wave. Quinn is pushing the tier 3 right now. High-fiving Slick, who has the Shivas, but it's not enough to do anything to Quinn. Quinn is actually getting a barracks 1v5 versus Heralds right now. But because the waves are cut, Quinn will not be able to continue this push. So if the Heralds can't defend this, this will be a second set of racks here for Quinn. He's killing it very quickly. Now, the question is, does he go for the tier 4s right now? The Heralds have grouped up a little bit. They're going to try Snapfire ultying. They have to cancel it. They coil him too. So that's the top set of barracks. Quinn has got a TP back. He doesn't want to get split pushed. There's actually a lot of damage done here to this tier 3 tower. Not going to be successful in TPing away. I think the only hero who can TP away successfully is going to be the Primal Beast because of that Shiva's. No boots, by the way. They, they have to defend this. This is Megas. I actually think... I actually think this is... This is going to be the game if they let him get Megas. But I don't know how they can fight him. I, I really respect the split pushing strategy up until this point. They had to do it. They have the Spirit Vessel. He's going to break the coil and turn to the other direction. He has a creep wave, so he should be able to get the tier 3. Or the barracks pretty easily. He's going to go for the kills. And he will succeed in doing so. It's a triple kill for Quinn. So this is going to be Mega Creeps coming out from Quinn. They're literally losing right now. Puck buys back. Snapfire has four seconds left on the respawn timer and has the ulti when she respawns. So Quinn making sure to try to get the Creeps in the enemy base. Quinn drops the Sanj and Kaya and instead gets the Wind Waker in his inventory. So this should let him be pretty free against the Coil. The Vessel, and the Snapfire ulti. Able to kill Milky. 1v5. Slick picks him up. Slams him down. Devin has his Aghanim Shard. He's going to use it on Quinn. Who has the Wind Waker again because of the Octarine Core. So he's kiting, kiting them slow and steady. They're taking a lot of damage here from the Mega Creeps. Quinn gets broken, so... He used the Wind Waker to protect him from a little bit of that break. Slick is going to turn around, press the Q, does not have the Trample... I believe this is going to be it. That's a triple kill. Quinn can dive the fountain if he wants. He's a bristleback after all. They swap him into the fountain. This is the one hero I don't think you actually want to be in your fountain. If it was any other hero, they would have killed him. It's a rampage for Quinn. And he's going to go for the double rampage. And he goes down. He has buyback. He's going to go for the throne, I think. The buyback into TPN. Venge bought out. He had, he had gold for buyback. He's going to buy out. And Quinn does it. 
He 1v5s against Heralds. Okay. <clears throat> Don't do that. I haven't introduced you. I'm trying to think of how to Sorry. introduce you. Sorry. Sorry. Right. Right. Yeah, that's my bad. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Quinn Culligan uh, for the 1v5. I I'm going to be honest, dude. I actually didn't think you would do it because when Newsham tried, it was very frustrating for him. He, di he didn't want to do any more content for at least two to three weeks afterwards because he lost horribly. Um, uh -huh. Did you think you were going to win? Yeah, I, I was pretty sure I was going to win. I think Bristol is way too broken for this. I thought they were going to split push you to death. That's what I thought was going to happen. How did you Yeah, how, how it's you feel definitely about that? hard to deal with the map whenever you're the only one on the map. But uh, bots 2, Octarine kind of fix that. You mm -hmm. kind of just feed on the little snacks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just tasty treats. I was saying it was kind of like you're a serial killer, like Jeffrey Dahmer or Ted Bundy. Or who's your favorite serial killer, Quinn? I mean, you're the expert. They're they're your idols. I feel like you'd be the one to to speak on that. Mm -hmm. Squeak okay. to that. Yeah, that's fair. It's turning around on me there. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. One sec, Hi. guys. Uh, I didn't introduce you yet. So, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sitting here with the uh, my five heralds. Um, that was a that was a tough one, guys. Uh, did you coming into that today think you were going to be able to beat Quinn, the rank one player in on the planet? Absolutely not. No. Not really. <laughs> no. I personally thought it was easy. Mm -hmm. Like five versus one, there's no way we could lose. Surely. <laughs> Were any of you guys here for the first one against Newsham? I was. I was. And you guys like f fucking destroyed him, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Boulder. You're gonna put when you edit. You're gonna put the clips of that and him whining about how hard it oh. is. <laughs> Level one, you guys three man mid, and then have one hero in both of the side lanes. Whose idea was that, and what was the idea there? Devin, go ahead. <laughs> oh, it was okay. Are we saying this is my idea? Yeah, just say it was you. Okay. Um, I had the idea last night, but uh, I didn't expect Bristle back. That's all. Yeah, it was less. The comms were less. Guys, we need to split push. It was more. Uh, when the Bristle back shows up, run away. Oh, I don't know. I. I yeah, I'll see if I can. We'll we'll get you. We'll get you guys some juicy treats, some rewards for for being there, and being that rock of the of the <laughs> Fart Studios community. See if we we can get you guys, and we'll see if we can get you back for a rematch as well. Thank you so much. Thank right. you. Of course. Bye. Anytime. Thank you guys.